This weekend's race was a special one for a multitude of reasons. One, because of the treacherous conditions, and also we had a reserve driver win the race. And as of right now, Denny Boy, the reserve driver for Alfa Romeo, leads the championship. Now this is a massive surprise to all of us, but if we look at the race, he was so dominant throughout Belgium. And we'll take a look at that right now. Carnage ensued in the qualifying for the Belgian Grand Prix when his teammate crashed out at Arusian Radion. Towards the left hander, that's a huge, huge accident there. And that is a very big crash. And his teammate Oscar wasn't the only one to crash there. A ton of people crashed there, but among the carnage, Danny Boy really showed why he deserves a seat. Among the carnage, among all those errors, Radion crashes, Denny Boy takes pole position. But that was only half the job. He still needed to win the race. To five red lights, and it's lights out, and away we go. It's a good start from Denny Boy, as it does Melvin. Melvin gets a great start as well, down towards turn one. Everyone's keeping it clean as of right now. It's three wide into La Source between the Alpha Towery Mercedes and uh, McLaren, it looks like. So then, after a clean start, Denny Boy still had to retain his lead from a charging Melvin, and he defended very well. But then, after Jay's crash, a safety car peeled out, and Denny Boy and Oscar both came into the pits for a double stack for Alfa Romeo to go onto the intermediate compound tires as the rain was starting to fall. Into the pits, uh, under the safety car, it's a double stack for Alfa Romeo, and they're both going on to intermediate compound tires, probably the smartest choice that they could have made at this point in the race as he gets released there. After the safety car, Denny Boy still needed to survive the safety car restart. The safety car is peeling into the pits. Uh, Denny Boy is getting ready to go and he's already gone. And Melvin struggling to get the heat into those tires, cannot get him on this straight, but he will Probably be trying to play the long game there. So then, he survived everything, and he's coming up to the checkered flag to win the Belgian Grand Prix. The bus stop chicane for the final time. Denny Boy takes victory. Pull to victory for Denny Boy. What a race. He wins the Belgian Grand Prix, and what a race it was. As they all step out on the podium, Denny Boy what an absolute masterclass from him. That was a dominant victory in a rain-soaked spa. Among all the carnage, he is the one that has come out in qualifying. He is the one that has come out in the race as fastest and quickest and the best driver today. Well, I'll say a very special moment. But now we go to Denny Boy for his words on the race. Hi guys, I'm Danny Boy here for uh, the guy who's leading the championship for MRL at the moment. Currently sitting with my dog in the place where the magic happens, and uh, I'm gonna take you through what happened uh, at the last two races um, and being in reserve and winning those races. Heading on to round two of MRL uh, at the Belgian Grand Prix, uh, a very promising looking pace for the wets. Uh, in the qualifying, getting ahead 7 tenths of Melvin, uh, but at the race itself, it was a little sketchy. Do you put mediums or hard? Both were on the crossover period, but uh, a little sketchy. Uh, just put on the mediums, it worked like a treat since the, when the safety car came out, it was just at the crossover period. Put on the inters, kept first, uh, but in the rain, Melvin was pretty clearly quicker than me. Um, but at the end forced him into another mistake, uh, both on the same lap, uh, which gave him penalty, uh, which made it a little more easy for me, although it were three, uh, three corners left then. Uh, and won the Belgium Grand Prix, very happy with it, and uh, hope to have some other great results. And at last, I just wanted to say, uh, let's have more fun racing, battling, on track. Um, keep it clean, also off track, uh, no shouting or something, I don't like it, although I sometimes do it myself, I blame myself for that also. Um, hope to have some clean racing, not like that J guy. Um, and if you would, follow me on my socials, uh, Disco Dennis, YT on Instagram and Disco Dennis uh, on YouTube. Thank you very much and uh, see you later on track. Hope you enjoyed, and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you that have supported us lately. It's been a real help, and 
It's great to see the sport.